Okay, so I'm using the new Aeon Skin um, Tajo or Taho or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Anyways, uh, what's cool about it is he's used um, GIF integration in the um, the home screen here. So um, what he's what he did was um, essentially took a background and made par certain parts of it. Um, changed the opacity on it so it was a little more see-through and then he runs the gif in the background so as you can see you can see the gif moving now this wasn't the one that was in there and it's not the same background either I've changed them both up and I thought this was kind of a cool gif to use for it but now what I want to do is use something with a little more like a pulse so what I've done is I'm making one and I thought maybe would be good so you guys can see how to do it as well went through a lot of trial and error on this one and you will too. Okay, so first of all, um, the main thing you need is um, to have timeline turned on. Now, timeline is this section down here. Now, it's possible and probable that your Photoshop won't have it. So, in order to turn it on, all you got to do is go to Window, Timeline, and you're good to go. Okay, so what I'm going to make here is a black to gray, back to black, pulsing uh, GIF. So, what you need to do is you need to start a new one. Now, um, I was talking to China, and she said it was a good idea not to go too big because what happens is it basically stutters. So I'm going 720 by 480. So hit OK. Now, because I'm going black to gray to black, and I want to have a nice seamless integration, I'm going to need three different layers. So what I need to do here is, uh, first layer I'm going to go black. So I'm just going to fill it in. Add a new layer. And on this one, I'm going to go gray. Um, so that's a nice gray. Fill that one in. And add the final layer, which will be back to black. Now, on the timeline here, what we're going to do is hit Create Video Timeline. Now, we're going to switch down here. There's three little blocks, because we want to have this view. This is the uh, tweening view like the animation view instead of the video view. So what you do is, this is the first um, one that we need, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn off these two. So it'll just have the original layer. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add the second layer, and we're going to change that to gray. Now what we need to do is leave this one turned on, because if you turn it off, what happens is it, it just changes opacity, and it makes it real buggy and gross looking. So actually, you know what, I'll show you really quick. So what we're going to do is use tweening next, thanks to Digi. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the two of them. And you click down here where it says 5 seconds, and you change it to no delay. Now, when you use tweening, you need to highlight the two that you want to use. And you go to this little uh, icon here where it says um, Tweens Animation Frames. So you click it. And what will happen is uh, you pick the amount of frames you want. Um, I find the more frames the better, except you don't want to go like 100 or anything like that. But going like 3 frames makes it really staggery. So 15 works nice to get, because I'll be like 32 in total. So frames to add is like 15. And hit OK. Now, as you can see, it changed the opacity. So what happens is it looks really gross because it drops. Watch, you see how see how it's staggering and stuff? It's not very, it probably give people seizures. Okay, so we're just going to stop that. I'm going to back it up. What you need to do is turn this on. Turn on the black under layer, basically. So when you highlight the two and you go to tweening and you hit 15, you'll see now you don't have the opacity change. You just basically have color change down to it. So now I want to go black to gray, and I want to go back from gray to black. So what I'm going to do is add another layer, number 18, and I'm going to turn on the black. And what you do is you highlight these two, because you want to do the tweening in between them. Click it, add another 15, and there you go. So you'll see it runs from black down to gray, back up to black. So now when you play it, it still staggers a little bit. It's a little bit glitchy, but that's because um, there are so many frames that it's got to go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the actual time it takes to transfer between from, from the first layer all the way to the end. So basically all we need to do for that 
is click down here where it says convert to video timeline and now you'll see each of the, the three layers that you have actually has um, a specific time that it's that it's set to so in other words if you click here and you move it a little bit you'll see it's like 103 so it's like one second essentially so what you want to do then now it's because it's shrunk right up is when you play it you'll see how much smoother it is now if you don't like the look of that if, you, if that's a little too in and out like too pulsy for you you can move these you can move all three easily by just using this or you can move one at a time which is kind of a pain in the ass so now when you play it it's a little smoother and it's not quite as jarring so once you've done that and if you're happy with it you just go to file export go to save for web legacy you'll see up here it's set as a gif just hit save now I'm already in the folder where I want to put it. Um, it goes in the media, Tahoe, and I have set it as this one. So hit save. Yes, I want to replace it. So now when we go back to Kodi, and you can see that it's got this stuff, I've got a key maps installed. So if you just hit function F5, it changes to the new one. And as you can see, it's pulsing. Now you could go a lot more dramatic and go down in the gray color a lot more, but I didn't want to have a huge change. It. But that's all you need to do in order to get like a pulse look in, in your build. So hopefully that helps.